Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Um, today I want to make a video and show you a whole bunch of different Windows settings and features that you may or may not already know about. Now, a lot of these have been around for a long time. Some are pretty new with Windows 10. Um, I will put timestamps down below so you can jump right to the one you want to see. If you don't want to watch the entire video, that's fine. Uh, also, I'm running the 20H2 edition of Windows 10, so hopefully you got the newest version to make the most of these settings um, so let's just get to it um, the first one I want to show you is uh, the task view in Windows 10 or multiple dis desktops it's an icon right down here you may have noticed it uh, if it's not there just go over to your taskbar and right click and it's right here just check put a check mark next to it and it'll magically appear or disappear um, also, with your to open up task view, this is what you see. You can also use the windows and the tab key to open and close it quickly. So, let's go back to it. I'm going to open task view. And <clears throat> Windows 10 has this neat little feature called virtual desktops. You can see this is my main desktop up here. I got a desktop 2, 3, and 4. We can add another one and kind of go on. <laughs> quite a ways I got up to about 50 and it was still going so I don't really think there's a limit on these but keep in mind the more of these you have running it will gobble up some of the resources on your system um, so keep that in mind um, if you want to jump to a different different desktop you can just simply click on it or we go back to this go back to my main desktop uh, with your keyboard if you got multiple desktops set up all you have to do is hold down control plus the Windows key then use your right and left arrow keys to scroll through your different different desktops. You can see I got a here's the one that I just created. Um, you can open up a, a new app or program, and I'm kind of useful. So instead of minimizing, maximizing all the time, again, control window, right arrow key. You can see I'm scrolling through them here. Now, one thing I did notice with this, like, for example, if I go down here and click on my start menu and leave it open, it remains open on all my desktops. And also, you can see the background <clears throat> is still the same on all these. Now, let's go back to task view. Um, right now, if you, if you right-click on these, the only thing you can really do is rename these instead of desktop 1, 2, or 3. You can name them whatever you want. But in the 21H1 edition coming out next month, I believe, you'll have the ability to change the background on all these different desktops that you've set up. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, the next one is a <laughs> cool little thing that's been around for a long time, since Windows 7, I believe. If you go down in the lower right-hand corner, at the very end of your taskbar, you see that little tiny bar down there. Let me open up a couple windows here. It's simply click on it and it just shows your desktop likewise if you have multiple windows open you can hit uh, windows plus d key and it'll show your desktop now there's also a feature called peek for the kind of a sneak peek at your desktop to enable that just go into uh, settings go over here and click on start go to settings or if you just want to use your um, shortcut key you can use window Key plus letter I, it'll bring you right to settings, and then we're going to go go to um, personalization here. Go over and click on taskbar, and right here, uh, right here, it says use Peak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button at the end of the taskbar. So if we turn that on, close this out, and you want to see your desktop real quick. Just open a bunch of windows here. Just go down here and hover your mouse over it, and it'll show your desktop. So, that's kind of a cool little set of setting. Now, another one, along with that, <clears throat> is something called Shake to Minimize. Uh, get a bunch of these open here. So, all you do for that is grab the whatever window is in the forefront, or active window. If you put your mouse up on the uh, bar at the very top, just grab it and give it a quick little shake. It'll minimize all your windows. If you grab it and do it again. Okay. Take a liar out of me. There you go. Um, it's a little tricky. You have to do it pretty fast. So, 
that's called shake to minimize. Um, so may, play around with that and see how you like it. Uh, another one I want to show you is the F11 key to maximize your browser. Now this works. And again, th this one's been around since I think Windows 7 as well. Um, the F11 key on your keyboard. All you have to do is hit F11 and it maximizes your browser. The taskbar disappears, gets everything out of the way for a nice clean look. Now, I believe this is the Brave browser. You know, hit F11 again, again and minimize it. It works a little different each of the browsers. Here's Chrome. If I hit it on Chrome, it goes full screen, nothing at the top, nothing at the bottom. If you move your mouse up here, you can see you can click the X here for Chrome to bring it back. And it works the same way in Firefox. But I noticed that in the Brave browser, when you when you use it, it leaves your bookmarks bar enabled across the top. So that's kind of neat. If you haven't used or tried the new Brave browser, give it a try. It's a pretty cool web browser. It's very fast, very secure. I like it. I've been using it quite a bit lately, as well as Chrome. So let me minimize these windows. So yeah, it's called um, F11 to get a full screen browser. Uh, here's another cool little setting. Um, it's called, uh, basically, I guess you call it scroll and inactive window. So let me open up a couple of windows here. Open up Word. Let's say you're working in Word and you want to go over to your browser. See, I'm, over, I'm hovering over my browser, but I'm still scrolling my Word because it's the active window on top here. Go over here. In order to scroll in my browser, I have to make it active. Now I can scroll. So all you got to do to, to change that is let's go back to settings. Just Windows plus the I key will open up settings. If you want to get there with your keyboard. So we're going to go to settings, devices, click on mouse, and it's this button right here. Scroll inactive windows just by hovering over it. I'll turn that on. And by default, on most most of the time, I see that turned on by default. But I notice on a lot of laptops, um, you're not using a mouse. You got the touchpad. You got the two finger scroll. I see that. I see it turned off a lot for some reason. So let me minimize that. So now I got my word here, and if I hover my mouse over my browser, I can scroll without clicking anything. And if I come back over to Word, I can scroll that just by hovering over it. So there can turn that on, save a little bit of time, and make it a little more useful for you. Um, so let's see. The next one I'll show you is, of course, the notifications. You probably get notifications all the time down here in the lower right-hand corner popping out, Windows notifications and um, Security Center notifications and different things, Microsoft account issues and whatnot. So if we go... To turn, if you want to turn them off, let's just go back to settings, Windows plus I. And we'll go back to home. We'll go to system right here. Over here on the left, click on notifications. And right here, we can simply turn this button off. Now by default, turn this off. It will turn off all notifications for, for different apps and programs. But you can also uncheck all these boxes so you won't get any notifications. For Microsoft and all those annoying notifications now you can turn this back on and then just turn off the ones that you want or turn on the ones you want so that's how you turn off notifications now another cool little thing too is the notifications that pop out down here in the lower right hand corner by default they stay there for like five seconds Maybe you want to stay there a little, little longer if you're putting in a flash drive or an SD card or something like that you don't you want a little more time to be able to click on it all you have to do to change that setting is we'll go back to um, ease we're going to go into the ease of access through through the settings you can get to it by going to settings and choosing ease, ease of access or just Windows plus the U key will take you right in there um, so what we want to do is Sorry guys, drawing a little blank here. Uh, right down here, sorry, under display, the, the default page you land on when you open up Ease of Access. Show notifications for five seconds is the default. Now you can change it up to a minute or 15 seconds or whatever you want. 
So that's how you change how long your notifications will display. So let's move on to the next one real quick. Uh, screen capture. Windows 10 does have a nifty little screen capture capability. Of course, you got the snipping tool, which works well too. Uh, but simply on your keyboard, you just hold down the Windows key and hit your print screen button. Boom. I just captured whatever's on the screen. I'll do it again. Windows plus print screen. Now, when you, when you do a screen capture like that, by default, it's going to go into, let's open up file. Oops, don't want that. Let me open up File Explorer. If you go into your Pictures folder. If, if you've never done a screenshot, there won't be a folder in here. The first time you do a screenshot like that, it'll create a folder called Screenshots and put your screenshots in there. And it will save it as a PNG file. I haven't found a way to change that default uh, from saving it as a PNG versus a JPEG. So it's easy to edit, though, if you want to change it to a JPEG. So now if you want to change the location, if you don't want them in that folder, all you have to do when you're within the screenshots folder is just simply right click, go to properties, and click on the tab that says location. And right here, you can put those screenshots any, basically anywhere you want. Just type in the path to the folder in your user account, whether it's pictures or on your desktop or a different drive. You can change drive letters. So basically you can save them anywhere you want if you don't like the default location. All right. So that's screenshots. Um, or screen capture, I should say. Uh, another cool little feature is, uh, is um, the ability. Let me open up the command prompt here. We'll run as administrator. And you can, if you're in here doing stuff and you want your background, the command prop window, window to be transparent, just go up here on the title bar and right click. Go to properties. And go to colors. And right here, slide this little bar down. You can see it's making my window transparent. And you can change the color of the fonts, the background. You can change a lot of stuff with in, in in this setting right here so there now you got a transparent command prompt window so you can see what's going on behind you also you can do that with the PowerShell window as well so I'll just open that one up yes that's gonna be a setting I'm gonna show you in a second so right click go to properties go to colors you can turn down the transparency of that window as well so play around with that set it however you want so that that one um, UAC control or user access control um, I'm, I know you've all seen it just here here's my brave browser I'm going to double click the install and here's that user account control that you might find annoying um, now you can you can disable this completely I'm going to choose no on that and or go down to your search box if you have it enabled and just type in U, UAC It'll bring you right where where you need to be now this is the default setting and you can crank it down a notch here or you can turn it off completely so you'll never windows won't ask you that anymore so i'm going to hit okay yes now if i do my brave browser you can see it's just going to start installing without asking me anything now be careful on this setting guys <clears throat> If you turn it all the way off, you got to be careful because you know it. It's good. You might risk the chance of a app or some malware just start to start to install without even asking you or without you knowing it. So just be careful if you change this setting. All right. So that's how you can turn off that annoying UAC every time you go to install something, if you like. But just be careful with it. Um, so the last thing I want to show you guys is. How to create a God mode, fo God mode folder, or what I call a super control panel. You may have seen this before. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to right click on my desktop, go to new, create a new folder, and I'll just leave it like that for now. And over here's my God mode text, which I'll put down below. You just copy and paste this. So I'm going to open up my little notepad here. Take this text exactly as it is right here. Select it right click and copy and go over the new folder and we're going to rename the folder with that text choose rename and just right click in there and hit paste 
boom, and hit enter. You can see the icon even changed. So this is kind of fun to mess around with. Double click it, open it up, and here's your God Mode folder. Literally every setting in Windows is going to be in here. Everything. Um, <laughs> a lot of this you probably have never seen before, but it's pretty much got every setting and option available in Windows 10. It's like control panel on steroids. So kind of check it out, play around with it. It's kind of cool. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. Um, I appreciate watching. If you got your own Windows settings and or features that you like, put them in the comments below. Share them with everybody. That'd be cool. I appreciate watch, watching. Have a great day.